Our next speaker is Reverend Lennox Yearwood, CEO of the Hip Hop Caucus and Church of Good in Christ Minister. Reverend Yearwood. You see, that's the thing. When you, that's how it's supposed to be. When you add an O to God, it's supposed to be good. And it's time for the, the Christian right to meet some of the right Christians. I just want to say that on behalf of, I am also the co-director for Cities for Peace over there. And we have over 100 cities who have called for an ending to this war. And it's adding daily. I just want to say that somebody asked me earlier, they said, Reverend Yearwood from the Hip Hop Caucus, why are you here? today. And I said this, it is time to break the silence. It is time for us as Americans to take responsibility for America. We cannot allow for this administration to take this entire world down. If we do not stop this madness now, in the 21st century, there will not be a 22nd century. Our children will not have a world where they can live. It is time for our movements not to be segregated. For the past year, I have been working with Katrina survivors who really shouldn't be survivors because if the, war, the money from this war had gone into building levees, they would be back home in New Orleans right now. But because we have an illegal and unjust war that continues to be waged, people are scattered over and abroad. Let me say this. It is time. It is time. It is time for us to change the course. So this morning, I brought a coin here for Mr. Bush. It's a coin that I received in 2000. And that coin was from the Officer Training Academy that trained young men and young women to be officers. And I received this coin. And on the front of this coin, it says, an officer first, a leader always. So please be assured that I don't stand here as someone who doesn't like America. I don't stand here as someone who just goes around calling Bush names. I can care less if you're a Republican or Democrat. It is time for us to be human. We cannot allow for babies to die in Iraq. We cannot allow for babies to die in Lebanon. We cannot allow for babies to drown in New Orleans. It is time for us to be human again. And so on the back of this coin, they give you, when you finish officer training school, that I've had for the past six years, it says always with honor. Always with honor. That's the creed that our young men and young women went over to this unjust and illegal war. Always with honor. They stood there to fight for you. Always with honor. They wanted to die for you. Always with honor. But our president and our administration did not send our troops with honor. They sit over there for greed and for oil. And so it's time for us to bring honor to our troops. And the only way to do that is to bring the troops home now. The only way that we can return honor. Because Mr. President, you have turned this coin that so many officers have gotten into nothing.
Leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it there. Our babies are dying in the desert. Leave it there. You don't care. They're crying in the desert. Leave it there. This month, 18 year olds and 19 year olds are dying, and our mothers and fathers are burying their babies. Leave it there. It's time to end this war. It's time to act up. It's time to get in the way. It's time to stop being not concerned when our babies are dying. Always with honor. Always with honor. Always with honor. It's time to break the silence now, America. It's time to break the silence now, America. How many Cindy scenes do you need? How many Lane Johnsons do you need? How many doors do you need to be knocked on in the middle of the night to hear, to hear your baby was killed in an illegal war? I never had a baby come out my womb, but I can imagine if I carried this baby for nine months, sent him to kindergarten, took him to flag football, had him watch him get out of high school, and then they went to either boot camp or officer training school and got that medal. That's said always with honor. And then this president who sits serenely in the White House while we sit around here, the black babies and white babies and Asian babies and Latino babies, and allow them to take this world down. It is time for us to break the silence, and we will break it right now.